Hello everyone, my name is MK and here is a new video tutorial on Google Maps versus Uber navigation. This video focuses on the navigation side of both apps. On the right hand side we have Uber with the customer address while on the left we have Google Maps. On Google Maps you get a bunch of options such as air stop, voice search and a bottom slide menu with a few more options. You can share your live trip with family and friends. Uber on the other hand has a safety feature in which you can share your trip live with family and friends and call the emergency number if needed. At the bottom left there is a speed limit indicator in both applications. The three little dots menu on the right on Uber lets you stop new requests or get help if any issues. Tapping on the navigate button in Uber starts navigation while pressing this button again shows an overview of the trip. Another thing to notice is that Uber navigation starts at the location of the restaurant. For example, the pickup location was on King William Street, while I parked my car on the side street. Even though I am on that side street, Uber starts navigation from King William Street, but it automatically starts redirecting after you drive for a few seconds. On Google Maps, it says 6.1 km journey while travel time is 14 minutes. In Uber, the distance is the same, but it suggests 13 minute trip. I believe Uber gets traffic data from Google and makes some changes to it, as everyone uses Google's API at some level. Uber never comments on the traffic data they use, therefore it can neither be confirmed nor denied. Google Maps is the industry standard for navigation and is extremely fast and responsive. While in Uber, when the car speed is less than 10 km an hour, it does not update the maps immediately. Some of the navigation options are in the account settings which you can't access while on a trip. You must modify before accepting any trip or after ending the trip. If you want to learn more about Uber, you can check out my other video dedicated to Uber driver app. Anyway, there is a difference in the interface. Google Maps shows the map in more angles while Uber shows mostly in an aerial view. Google Maps also shows possible alternative routes with ETA, which can be helpful if you know your way around the city. Talking about ETA, Uber does not update the time correctly. It sometimes just does not update and suddenly updates by 2 or 3 minutes. Google Maps on the other hand is more accurate on ETA. Let's talk about Google Maps ways like features. Google Maps now allows you to report crashes, mobile speed camera, traffic, roadworks, lane closure and a couple more. These features may not be available in your region but the company is continually adding new locations. Uber does not offer any features like that. Regarding traffic, I believe Uber is more sneaky as the app tries to find the streets where possible. While Google Maps suggests main roads all the time, unless there is a huge difference. On this particular trip, we won't be seeing an example because the trip is straight. But if you notice, Uber shows street routes more often where possible. Also, traffic is more accurate on Google Maps. Uber has an issue of not updating traffic very often. If a road turns to red, then it will stay as red for a long time. I see this issue in almost every trip. The road will be in red even though there are not too many cars. Moving on, now I'm going to talk about the lane suggesting feature. On the top on both, you see the total number of lanes and which line should the driver be driving in. Well, both are fairly accurate, but there are times when you get to an intersection where you find out that either one could be wrong. Regarding voice, Google Maps is more energetic and loud, and you have an option to download different voices in many languages. Uber Maps does not offer to download voice navigation and voice navigation is calm and relaxed. Voice navigation's accent is a lot different and it does not say the full word. For example, if the street name is Main Street and in Uber, street is in short form, then the voice navigation will pronounce Main St. This happens with terraces and roads too. Before we go, the final thing I want to talk about is speed. Google Maps yet does not show the speed zone but it shows you the vehicle speed which is about 1 to 2 km an hour below the actual speed. Uber on the contrary 
shows the speed limit as well as your car's speed if you exceed the legal speed limit. In the settings, there's an option to change when the app should warn when you exceed the limit. For example, it's after we set the exceed limit by 10 km an hour, so that means if the speed zone is 50 and we travel above 60, then the app will warn about the speed limit. Alright, so which one is for you? Well, both get the job done, but I still prefer Google Maps due to the fact that they offer a dedicated service for navigation while Uber places a lower priority on navigation. Anyway, if you feel like using Google Maps, then after starting the trip in Uber, tap on the top navigation and choose Google Maps on the bottom. The only downside to using Google Maps is the inaccuracy in dropping off location. Because of coordinates transfer, the drop off may not be fully accurate. You can also verify the address in Google Maps before starting the trip to make sure that you are going to the right address. I hope I made that clear. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching Google Maps vs Uber navigation. I hope the video helped. Also, Waze vs Uber is coming, so keep an eye on that. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more about Android and iOS.